After being buried eight feet underground for nearly 20 years, the cicadas known as Brood 10 are making their presence known. Dr. David Shetler, Professor Emeritus of Entomology at The Ohio State University and who is affectionately known as the Bug Doc, says Brood 10 is breaking out of their shells and will be gone by the end of June. It takes them about uh, six or seven hours to complete the emergence process. The, the little nymph comes up, climbs up some vertical surface to where it's leaning back just a little bit, splits the back of its exoskeleton, the new adult emerges from that, and it's white. It's a snowy, creamy white color when it emerges. It will finally wiggle out of that exoskeleton, hold on with its legs, and then it will expand the wings. Dr. Shetler says cicadas help with the growth of trees, making their foliage more dense by pruning the branches and then acting as fertilizer. I mentioned that there could be thousands of them. Pounds of them come out from underneath a tree. Well. After they lay eggs, they all die and drop back to the ground. And their dead bodies, as they decompose, return nutrients back to the soil. And so we've actually also documented that if you take a look at the growth rings for like the, the couple of years after the cicada, they're bigger growth rings. Besides being good for the environment, there are a few other things people may not know about these little guys. Cicadas have two kinds of eyes, like many insects. They have compound eyes, the big red ones, that can actually form an image. They can see you moving and, and coming. Then they have these simple eyes that we call ocelli, which really only see light and dark, and they're the turn-on, turn-off switch for the cicadas. So what, five eyes? Yeah, there are five eyes total. Two on the outer side, yeah. and like three like a... Yeah, the, the two the compound ones to see things moving, and the, the you three little... You told me that. That makes it even... <laughs> The, the three little turn-off, turn-on switches in, yeah. in the middle there. What I find fascinating about these creatures is that they go incognito for so long and then come out of hiding to live just a fraction of that time. Think about it. Where were you in 2004? You may remember that was the year Mark Zuckerberg launched Facebook from his Harvard dorm room. It was also the year Google created Gmail. And the hit comedy TV series Friends had their final episode. Now, 17 years later, Mr. Zuckerberg is beginning to show more of his life on his popular platform, and the cast of Friends is re-emerging as well. Now, whether you like cicadas or you can't stand their cacophonous melodies, let's be kind to them. I mean, after all, we won't see their kids until 2038. And at that time, will Facebook exist? What about Gmail? We don't know. But one thing's for certain, our winged friends will make another appearance and the buzz will start all over again. So for what it's worth, let's make the next 17 years count. I'm Joe Camoriano for Ohio State News.